Hello everyone, this is the Hack RF1 Portapack H2 Plus from Open SDR Lab. They have a shop on AliExpress, which I will link down in the description. But this is um, a very good thing and it has a lot of different uses. So that today I'll be going through a few of them in detail to show you <clears throat> um, yeah, what, what it can do. So. Here we go, turning on the device, you can see it has the receive menu. This is the Mayhem firmware, it's latest 1.8.0 uh, Mayhem firmware. So as you can see here, we have the LED indicator to show the battery status, so the amount, so right now it's fully charged. You can charge the device with um, a cable which it will receive, you will receive in the box, which comes with this micro USB cable and it will charge it nicely within a couple of hours. And it has a 2,500 milliamp hour battery, which will give you a couple of hours of some good operation. So first of all, we have the receive. So you can receive ADSB, which is aircraft transmissions, AIS, which is boat transmissions, um, APRS, audio, Bluetooth low energy, and all sorts of other stuff. One of the best features in the receive menu is definitely the search thing, because you can set a frequency so if you wanted to get a car frequency, for example, from a key, you just go 400 zero 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 to uh, 500. Um, if I do this quickly, it's quite hard to see when you're looking at the phone. So that will scan between those frequencies you and see um, what the frequency it's transmitting on. So you can set the threshold for this, if it would focus. You can set the threshold for this um, higher or lower is very nice so that will tell you the frequency so then we have the transmit feature which lets you transmit this is very illegal by the way but it's cool for testing in like your basement or something where it's not going to interfere with anything else it's adsb which is aircraft again A aprs um pager signals pay you can transmit on pager frequencies this is also illegal but it's pretty cool anyway gps simulator which will uh spoof your location then we have the jammer which will jam a frequency from anything you want, and it will create noise, which will block the signal from happening. Once again, illegal, but pretty cool nonetheless. It's good for testing applications and whatnot. And a bunch of other frequencies here, which I like. So coming on to the most important things, in my opinion, about the device is the capture and replay. So remember this over here. Once you get that frequency from the search thing, you can go to capture, put that frequency in, and then record it. And then afterwards, you can replay that same file over here. So this is the thing I just did. You can replay that. And you can also adjust the gain and everything else to make the transmit power a little bit higher. <clears throat> then we have the scanner, which scans a set threshold of frequencies to see which is the most active channel which is cool and we have here we have the uh remote i haven't used this yet but uh, it is a thing where you can just emulate a remote not ir it is radio frequency this doesn't actually have an ir thing in it that would be a good feature to add in the future you have a microphone where you can basically use by plugging into the headphone jack here you can use it as kind of a ham radio or walkie-talkie, which is cool, on any frequency you want. Then looking glass, this is a nice feature. It allows you to see the frequency in detail. So you can see it has a nice SDR waterfall. Utilities, file manager, etc. These are all just really good. You can also delete captures that you don't want. So... For example, I don't really need this anymore, so you can delete that. And then you can click yes. There we go. That will delete the file. So, yeah. We've got the settings. It's a bit difficult to look at it when you're on the phone. Then there's audio calibration. These are just utilities. Uh, like settings, whatever. And then hack RF, which turns it into a hack RF mode. So the box comes with obviously the hack RF and the SDR. So everything's installed for you before you start, which is cool. 
the battery, the, the screen and everything. It comes with a nice antenna. Um, and it also comes with the charging cable. And you will need a um, another SD card. Um, because it doesn't come with one. But you don't need to use it. But I think if you're getting more into the advance of the actual SDR. You will need the, obviously, the micro SD card to put, for example, the ADSB map and everything. So let me show you that. Um, I'm not actually going to transmit anything, but you can actually look at the map. So you see, but you can only do that with the SD card. So yeah, so that's about it. Um, there'll be some videos coming out soon about some different use cases, some fun things you can do with it. So thank you.